Cleanup underway in the capital city at this hour. People taking advantage of the dry weather to pick up the mess. Calvin Cutler is there for us now live. Calvin, describe what you're seeing. Well, good afternoon, Darren and Kat. It's been a messy and dynamic morning here in the capital city. Um, crews have been working to clear roads and to, of course, uh, restore uh, businesses as well. This storm and the flooding that which uh, came through impacted many businesses and parts of state government. Montpelier woke up Wednesday to the sound of fire alarms sounding off from flooded basements and inches of mud. River silk everywhere, um, kind of looking in stores and just seeing how much damage has been done. Some areas of town took on over five feet of water as the Winooski and the North Branch River jumped their banks, soaking basements and ruining products. Bear Pond Books celebrates half a century this summer. Staff says it's a heartbreaking day for Montpelier and books. It's a massive mess to clean up, but Montpelier is mighty, and so we'll, we'll come back. Karen Williams has owned Woodbury Mountain Toys for over two decades and tried to save as many toys as she could. I've saved a lot of product. Yes, but there is going to be a lot of product that, unfortunately, I won't be able to save. Capital Stationers, about two doors down, estimates they've suffered about $20,000 in losses. Good majority of this town's mom and pop, you know, things. So you're seeing, you know, husbands and wives, and I have my two sons and my wife here helping us clean out. So, yeah, it was, it was pretty emotional. Meanwhile, leaders are helping to organize the volunteer effort to clean up and recover. I've heard a lot of people saying they love this city and they want to do what they can to get it uh, going again. And down the street at the Capitol complex, state government also took a hit. The Department of Taxes, the DMV, the Supreme Court, and other buildings all sustained heavy flooding, putting some services on hold. Right now, all of these buildings are closed. Uh, they are at least closed to the end of the week. Several of them are going to be closed for likely several months. She adds that many state employees are now working remotely and that they're working to open up the buildings. Now here in Montpelier, volunteers which have been working all day are also being served free lunch and water. And of course, uh, fire officials are also telling me that people, if you are working outside around dust or uh, some of the mud that is drying up, be careful around it as it can contain harmful chemicals. For now, reporting live in Montpelier, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News.